Doc, this is my only eye. Don't mess this surgery up. No pressure at all, right? If you're monocular or you only see with one eye, cataract surgery can feel especially scary. In today's video, I'm gonna explain what makes cataract surgery different for monocular patients. We'll cover the risks of surgery, the right timing for cataract surgery, and even what lens are typically recommended for patients who only see with one eye. Now real quick, before we jump into things, my name's Brad Sifrig, I'm a board certified cataract surgeon, and this is Cataract Companion, the patient guide to cataract surgery success. If you are a loved one or getting ready for cataract surgery, then you're in the right place. This channel is dedicated to helping patients understand cataract surgery so they can get their best result. As a quick disclaimer, Cataract Companion takes no money from any lens companies or any ophthalmology companies. You can trust there's no hidden agenda, no upsells, no ulterior motives, just the unbiased information you need to get your best result. Okay, let's jump into it. So monocular status or being monocular means that you rely on just one eye for your vision. Being functionally monocular means that even if you have two eyes, one eye is very poor seeing, typically less than 2200, where it's really not functional for anything other than maybe some peripheral vision. Being truly monocular means you either have one eye that can't see light at all, or you only have one eye and the other eye is a prosthetic after having been injured by trauma or removed for some medical reason. So the most common underlying etiologies of non-reversible blindness in one eye include macular degeneration, glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy, other less common reasons may include a vascular problem of the eye, like a retinal vein or artery occlusion, amblyopia, where you've had very poor vision or a weak eye since childhood, or of course eye trauma, where you've had an unfortunate injury that's reduced the vision in one eye or caused you to lose that eye completely. There's no universally accepted definition of what it means to be monocular, so it's a little difficult to put an exact number on prevalence or how many people are monocular. One large study, the Salisbury Eye Evaluation Study, looked at a general population. This study showed that 4.5% of people had what they considered to be monocular blindness. The caveat is that those numbers included patients who had cataract as a cause of that, which we know is a reversible cause of blindness. Regardless of how common it is to be monocular, you know if you're monocular, either you have this and you're dealing with it or you don't. Now, turning the page towards cataract surgery, let's talk about cataract surgery success percentages in people who are monocular. Most studies show a similar low complication rate in monocular patients as they do to just the general population when having cataract surgery. While cataract surgery isn't zero risk, it is very low risk overall, and monocular patients don't seem to have any higher risk than just your general average patient. So monocular patients, don't necessarily have a higher risk, but they do actually have a higher benefit to gain from having surgery. One study showed that while monocular patients have a similar improvement in their vision following cataract surgery, they actually report a two times better functional vision improvement. When we think about it, it makes sense. Patients with two eyes who are having cataract surgery done typically have the worse eye done first. Because of this, even though that individual eye gets a big improvement in vision, when they're looking with both eyes, they don't notice as much of a functional vision improvement. Now, obviously, monocular patients are having their only eye done when they have cataract surgery, so they're going to immediately notice a big improvement in their vision. That improvement in their vision or visual acuity is going to translate to a big improvement in their functional vision, meaning their vision is going to really be functional for them throughout the day. It's going to let them do their activities of daily life a lot easier. So while monocular patients certainly have more to lose from cataract surgery, they also have more to gain. Another big question monocular patients have is what is the right time to do surgery? And this is something I really see vary between a lot of patients and it's a discussion that each patient has to have with their doctor or their surgeon to figure out the right time. Some patients come in earlier when they're monocular because even a small decrease in their vision can lead to a lot of functional vision loss where they're having a hard time doing their activities. However, other patients present later because they're delaying surgery due to caution or fear that they could have a complication and lose their only seeing eye. Really, neither approach is wrong and there's no perfect answer. I tend to personally believe that doing surgery earlier is better than later. There's certainly a certain point with cataract surgery where when you keep delaying, the risk of complication goes up. In my opinion, as a monocular patient, you want to have the cataract taken care of when it's kind of in the sweet spot where you'll notice some functional vision gain, but we haven't waited so long that the surgery becomes more challenging or more high risk. 
Again, this is gonna be personal to every patient. There's really no perfect time for surgery. My strongest recommendation in regards to timing is that once you have a diagnosis of cataract in your one seeing eye, make sure that you're seeing an ophthalmologist or a cataract surgeon so that you can discuss with them what they think is the right time for surgery. Most cataract surgeons do hundreds to even thousands of surgeries every single year, so they're really able to look at that cataract during the examination and kind of give you an idea of where it's at and when they think the best time for surgery will be. This is no knock on our optometry colleagues, but because they're not actually doing the surgery themselves, they tend to have a little bit less feel for when's the right time to do the surgery. I have definitely seen some patients who have been monitored by their optometrist that waited longer than I probably recommended for the surgery where the risk has gone up a little bit. Now, since you've made it this far in the video, I wanna know, are you a monocular patient getting ready for cataract surgery? Or better yet, are you a monocular patient who's already had cataract surgery? If you are, share your experience in the comments below. I think it'll be really helpful for other patients who are getting ready to go through this process. One last question to answer in this video is during cataract surgery, what lens options should a monocular patient be considering? Now, if you don't know, during cataract surgery, we're removing your clouded lens from the eye and we replace it back with a new clear lens. Nowadays, there's a lot of different options for what type of lens we put in the eye and really what lens we use is gonna kind of determine how the vision is in that eye for the rest of your life. If you wanna learn a little bit more about these lens options, I've actually made a lens guide that you can download for free. If you're interested in that, just scroll down to the video description and you'll see the link there where you can get it. Now, specifically for my monocular patients, I really like to keep it simple when we're choosing out a lens. I think almost every patient who's monocular should be getting just a single range monofocal lens where we're targeting getting that distance vision into good focus. I still do recommend correcting astigmatism at the time of cataract surgery if you need it. This could be with something like a laser during surgery or with something like a toric IOL. Correcting that astigmatism is gonna give you better vision when you're not wearing your glasses after surgery. Now you'll see in that lens guide, or you may have heard in other videos that there are other more advanced or more premium lenses available that can give some range of vision like reading vision. This includes lenses like EDOF lenses or multifocal lenses. I really don't recommend these lenses for patients who are monocular. You only have one eye that sees well. Those lenses get that range of vision by giving up a little bit of contrast. They also come with some side effects. Because you only have one eye that's doing the workload for all of your vision, you don't wanna make any compromises with your vision. It's better to just plan to need some glasses after surgery. And on that topic, really our monocular patients should be following what we call monocular precautions at all times, before cataract surgery and after. This means you should wear polycarbonate glasses at all times for safety. Having the glasses in front of your eyes is a protective barrier you'd be surprised how many patients I've seen who've had a severe eye injury from something rebounding or coming at their eye. While these are fluke accidents, they happen and they happen more frequently than you might expect. I also advise monocular patients to avoid contact lenses due to the risk of use, including infection. And certainly if you're doing any high risk activities like housework, yard work, athletics, you should be wearing protective glasses. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if it was helpful. We'll be coming out with a lot more videos about different eye conditions and how they affect cataract surgery. I'll see you in the next video.